What is up guys, Berserk Titan 99 here, and welcome back to another video. On today's video, we're going to be looking at the winners of the 2022 Game Awards. So if you guys caught the Game Awards live, let me know in the comments down below. I obviously have not, but I've heard of a few games that won a few categories with with um, Game of the Year, Best Indie Game, Best Narrative, you know, all that stuff. And yeah, let's get started. So let's start with the colossal one, the big one, the Game of the Year Award. And it's been a battleground between two gaming titans, God of War Ragnarok, which I still need to play, and Elden Ring with Elden Ring coming on top and taking the win for the Game of the Year Award. <laughs> Congratulate, congrats from Software for winning the Game of the Year Award. I love your company also. I love all of your games, despite them being a challenge. And, well, I love challenges. And, um, yeah, congrats, congrats guys, you really deserve it, like, you, you really did, you really did deserve it, and I'm proud of you, so, yeah, Elden Ring is one of the best games of all time, and my favorite game of 2022, also my favorite game of all time, so, once again, congratulations from software, Love you guys, and yeah. The next category is Best Game Direction, and the winner of that is Elden Ring. I love the, the many different directions that you took with the story of Elden Ring with the many different endings and the press lines to get to those endings, and yeah. Yeah, once again, from software, congra congratulations, you guys did a spectacular job, and yeah. The next category is Best Narrative, and the winner of that is God of War Ragnarok. I, I still need to play God of War Ragnarok, I heard it's a masterpiece, or one of the masterpieces of games that are out there and yeah and congratulations Santa Monica Santa Monica Studios and yeah and you definitely deserve the best narrative reward all right ah ah stupid scrolling ah okay best art direction and that goes to Elden Ring. Con once again, congratulations from software. Like the art for the games is definitely spectacular. From the limp from the sunny plain fields of Windgrave to the autumny field of the Altus Plateau to Kaled to Kaled to Lurnia. The um, Guernia, the Academy of Rey Lucaria, the snow area, and yeah, and also Volcano Man. Oh yeah. Once again from software, congratulations on your win, and well on your three wins, and yeah. Best score music, and that went to Bear McCreary, God of War Ragnarok. Alright, so I think I heard on TikTok a song from God of War Ragnarok, and I gotta say, this is pretty fucking good. This is really fucking good. And congratulations, Mr. Bear McCreary. I think you deserve it. And yeah, even though I haven't played. God of War Ragnarok yet, but 
still, congratulations, Bear McGurry. You deserve it. All right. Best audio design, and that went to God of War Ragnarok. Once again, congratulations. Booyah. All right. Best performance, and that went to Christopher Judge, God of War Ragnarok. Congrats, Christopher Judge. You will always, always be my Kratos. So, thank you for, thank you for being Kratos. And, yeah, and I hope, I hope you get many opportunities to voice act in video games and also to be in TV shows. So, congrats, Christopher. Congrats, my boy. You did, you did really good. You did a good job. All right, so. Games for Impact. For a thought-provoking game with social media that goes to As Dusk Falls. Congrats. Best ongoing game. Huh? Final Fantasy XIV? Wasn't that game not that great? I have no idea. Okay. Best Indie Game, and that goes to Stray, and I have played Stray, and my god, it is amazing. I love it. I love that you get to play as a cat. I love all the things you can do as a cat, and I also love the story of how one cat's gotta take this little drone, well, Forward ahead, but take this little drone to one of the workshops where all the um, Zerk were. Um... Ah, shoot, I almost forgot the story. Okay, and congratulations. Congratulations, Stray. You definitely are the best in the game, and yeah. Best debut indie game, once again, that goes to Stray. Con once again, guys, congratulations. You did an amazing job with the story of Stray, how you, you are a cat navigating through this world of robots and machines, and also taking the little drone to the control room where they gotta open up the sunlight and yeah there we go now I remember the story of Stray alright so once again guys congratulations Stray is one heck of an amazing game and one of my favorite games of 2022 and once again guys congratulations alright best mobile game Marvel and the winner of that is Marvel Snap. I think that, yeah, that did pretty good. And I've seen ads of that, so... Congratulations, Marvel. Best Community Support. That went to... Final Fantasy XIV. Like, what? Why? I thought that was not good. Okay, best VR game. Moss Book 2, Innovation and Accessibility, and that went to God of War Ragnarok, and once again, congratulations. Best Action Game, and that went to Bayonetta 3. I have not heard of that, but congratulations anyway. Best Action Adventure Game, that went to God of War Ragnarok, once again, Santa Monica Studios. Congratulations on the win. Respect. Best RPG. And that goes to Elden Ring. Congratulations from Software once again. Elden Ring, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and... Ah, uh, yeah. Elden Ring, Bloodborne, Dark Souls, and Sekiro. And also Demon Souls. Congratulations, guys. You did... A spectacular job. And the Souls games are one of the best, or some of the best, or some of the best RPG games of all time. 
All right, so best fighting game, and that goes to Multiverses. I have a buddy that played Multiverses and is still playing it today. And yeah, so for my buddy, so um, congratulations, Multiverses, on getting the win. All right, so best family game. And that went to Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Thank you. Well, thank you, my buddy, for telling me about that. And congratulations, Nintendo. Best sports racing game, Grand Turis Turismo 7. Best sim strategy guide, Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Best multiplayer game, Splatoon 3. Like, I haven't heard of Splatoon 3 kind of before nobody told me about it, and yeah. So, once again, congratulations, Nintendo. Like, I've heard of the first two Splatoon games, but not Splatoon 3, so yeah. Content Creator of the Year Award, that went to Ludwig. I have no idea who that is, but... It should have gone to either Yoda Joe 93 or Jacob Silvers. They are some of the best video game content creators out there. And yeah, subscribe to their channels. Also follow them on Twitter. And yeah. Best esports athlete, Jacob Ye Whitaker. Whiteacre. I don't know. Best esports coach, Matthias. I don't know. Best esports event, League of Legends World Championship. Sweet. Best esports game, Valorant. Was that a copy of Overwatch? Yeah, I think that was a copy of Overwatch. Or one of them. Okay. Best esports team, Loud, the, one of the Valorant teams. Most anticipated game. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Okay. You know, I'm kind of looking forward to, like, the remake of Resident Evil 4 and Final Fantasy 16. And, yeah. The best video game ad adaptation is... Arcane, a League of Legends show. And you guys did an amazing job. Arcane is... Definitely an amazing show, and yeah, I love the story of it. I love the direction, the directions Netflix took with it, and it became one of the fucking best. Boo fucking yaw. Boo fucking yaw. All right, and that's it for all of the categories of the Game Awards 2022. Subscribe if you're curious about the channel. Here I am trying to reach 30 at the moment so I can tell you all the story of how I started my YouTube channel. And yeah, like the video, comment your thoughts, and once again, comment if you've seen the Game Awards live. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next cool. video. You can download your videos Bye. and watch them without Wi Fi.